What is happening everyone? Welcome back to another video in my channel. In today's video, I'll show you exactly how to install your Facebook pixel and set up your conversion API for your Shopify store. For some reason, I still see a lot of people still struggling with it. But to be honest, this pixel setup is by far the easiest from all the other platforms. But don't worry about it. Just follow along with me in this video and I will show you how to do that step by step. So without further ado, let's dive straight into it. All right, so the first thing that we need to do and the most obvious is to have a pixel. If you haven't already, set up a Facebook pixel, make sure to go to business.facebook.com slash settings. And on the left side, you have data sets over here. So just go ahead and click on it and then click add and create your new pixel. But since I already have a pixel for this tutorial, let's go ahead and jump straight into our Shopify dashboard. All right. So over here, what we need to do is we need to install the Facebook sales channel. So let's go ahead and click on apps and then we'll type in Facebook. All right. And now let's go ahead and click on it and let's go ahead and click on install and click on install again all right perfect and now let's go ahead and click on get started and now it will ask us to connect to our facebook account so make sure you do logged in to your facebook profile in this browser so let's go ahead and click on connect account and then we'll hit continue all right so now it asks us to connect either a facebook page or an instagram account so do make sure that you scroll down till your actual business manager if you do have multiple business managers so you have to make sure you select the right one because if not you will not be able to connect that same pixel that is inside this business manager so i know my pixel is inside this business manager so i'll go ahead and select a page from here and click connect and now we're here in the data sharing you want to make sure you set it for maximum this way you'll be sending data not just by your facebook pixel but also by your conversion api so make sure you click on maximum and hit save now over here it lists out all the pixels that are inside this business manager so go ahead and select the right one so we're going to select this one and hit connect and lastly you want to agree to terms and conditions and click submit for review and now we just need to wait just a couple of moments for facebook finishing setting up everything on the back end all right there you go so now everything is connected but don't leave yet because we haven't finished yet now in case you want to change something in the future all you have to do is to go again to facebook and instagram sales channel and then you want to click on settings and over here you will be able to disconnect something if you want to change the pixel to change the facebook account whatever you would like to change but now let's go ahead and jump back to the business settings now what we need to do is to go again to our data sets and click on the right pixel and we want to click on open in events manager and next what we want to do is to go and click on settings and we would like to scroll down until it says choose a partner so we're going to click on that and then we're going to click on shopify and then check this box over here i've completed the setup on shopify hit next now to verify the connection we need to put in our website url so let's go ahead and paste it over here and click send test traffic all right perfect so now we're just going to scroll a little bit just to go to some of the product pages just to fire some events on our pixel and now if we'll go back you can see it says active and now let's go ahead and hit next and click on finish now if you do want to double check all the events on your website and you want to make sure everything is firing properly just go ahead and install the meta pixel helper or facebook pixel helper chrome extension you can see i already have that installed and it says that the pixel is firing properly you can go to some of the product pages and then you will see that now it's firing page view and view content and if we'll click on add to cart for example now you can see it's firing over here add to cart page view and view content together the same goes if we'll go to the checkout it will also be firing checkout initiated so let's click on checkout and as you can see over here it's initiated checkout so this means that our pixel is fully set up and the conversion api as well you don't need to use any additional apps or anything like that if you just follow this tutorial you will be good to go and everything will be set up properly all right so this is pretty much it for the video if you did find it helpful make sure to drop a like and comment down below let me know what type of videos you want me to create on the channel because at the end i am making them for you if you haven't subscribed to the channel already make sure you do thank you so much for watching guys and until the next one peace